My name is Fernando Fiat. I study the full-time MBA at CBS here in Copenhagen. And right now I work as a finance business partner for Maersk. I studied a bachelor's degree in business and administration in Costa Rica. And then I started working first as an offshore analyst for an investment bank in the United States. So I work there in different industries. I work in healthcare, oil and gas, and IT. After three years of working there, I received a really good opportunity to become a finance business partner for a real estate company in Costa Rica. So I decided to move after that. And then at some point in my career, I felt like I was getting to like an um, invisible wall in my career performance and growing. So that's why I decided to go and get an MBA. This is a funny story because I wanted to, I was, I has always been interested in sustainable studies. This subject has very, have been very interesting for me in my previous work experience. I always volunteer for the sustainable department because they always need uh, extra hands, right? So for example, when I was working in real estate, we were working um, with, com with the community, improving the parks uh, for uh, making it better for the community around the developments that we were creating and those, those kinds of stuff. So that was also very interesting for me. I did my own research to understand which program had a better or most, like have a better focus in sustainability. And I came upon with the CBS program. I feel like part is because coming from Costa Rica, we have a, like I also, a, we try to have a, this really good uh, or really big uh, sustainable culture. So that's part of my background. And also I feel like you should also give something back, right? It's not only like taking for you, it's also making the world a better place. So that's also something that really drives me. This experience was completely different from my previous educational experience. It was completely international, which was something that I was looking for in an MBA. We were a small class. We were only 32 people, but uh, there were six in different nationalities in the class. So that was very interesting, uh, getting to know people from all over the world, from India, the United States, um, all around Europe and some Latin Americans as well. So that was also really great because people were from different backgrounds as well. So different uh, professional backgrounds. We had like a doctor, a professional golfer and different other uh, persons that had different backgrounds, which would make the program way more interesting. Yeah, I mean, definitely every day in class having that many people with all different backgrounds and experience trying to solve the, solve the same problem, you can see that the problem can be solved in way different, like in many ways, not just one. So that also like opens your mind a little bit to understand that maybe there are better solutions out there than the ones that you are aware of. Like for a course, I really like the leadership program. I felt like it was also very different from what uh, the other universities have, especially the um, uh, leadership simulator. We went to Sweden, to Sweden for three days, and we camp all by ourselves in this leadership uh, simulator. When each of us get to experience being a leader in different uh, environment that we are used to, which was a really good experience. And if I may add for like a course, I also really like the ISP project, which was my graduation project. I did it with two of my classmates and it was really interesting because we managed to work with a Danish startup. So that was like my first like um, test working in a Nordic environment, which is a, little, a way different than what I'm used to in Costa Rica. And the business model of the company was really interesting because what they were trying to do was making more affordable brain scans in Africa and uh, developing countries in order to make, uh, to understand if somebody has uh, epilepsy or not. So that was also very interesting working with them. Yeah, this is funny because I feel like there are a lot, so it's hard to choose. 
I would say maybe like the leadership soft skills and techniques that we learn, like managing your energy and being more aware of what like really motivates your team in order to get better results. So those kinds of mindsets that I didn't have before the MBA are really helpful right now in the position that I hold. In like in my current position, like for example, the energy managing is really important. Like this is something that we learned that you should be more aware of how you are feeling in four different aspects. They are physical, mentally, emotional, and spiritual. So like if you keep doing a track of those, you are more aware on where are you lacking and where are you feeling better in order to improve your energy for for the rest of the day or the week or whatever it is that you're doing. Yes, the career team is also great in this regard. They like maybe once or twice, every, like every two months, we're having these events where we have a speaker and all the alumni and also the current class is invited. So this is a great opportunity to do network with the alumni. And besides that, they also have this, uh, we did at least, my class did this uh, dance Kevin case competition where you get into groups and then you have like a competition uh, beside your classmates in order to resolve a case, which is very interesting. And then you need, you get to meet people from dance Kevin as well. Yeah, it has changed completely. First, I'm now uh, working here in Denmark in the headquarters of one of the biggest companies that are here in the country. So my development and impact in the company has changed completely compared to my previous experience, which is also great because it felt like it feels like it's, uh, you're doing more important work, right? And besides that, I also managed to change industries again so like for example i'm working right now in transport and logistics and that's a complete new industry for me so this past couple of months has been like have been very like a really great learning experience when i came here everybody was talking about like this great work and life balance that the nordics countries have and sometimes it even feel like it's not real compared to what I had experienced back home, but it's completely true. Like here, the Nordic values really try to get people to work and do important job, but also have time for their personal affairs. And working here, I can really say that is true. For your graduation project, um, CBS gives you two options. You can either do an ISP project, which is mostly like a consulting project with a company that you do in groups, which was the one that I did, or you can either get an internship and then do your thesis alone uh, with something related with your work experience. For the ISP project, we were with a Danish startup, which was a great experience for all of us. Um, what the company does is they created this really cheap um, machine that can read the uh, wave brains in order to see if a person has epilepsy or not. And they want to do it more affordable in low income countries. So they already started in Kenya, working in Kenya with some banks and some people to develop this uh, product, uh, get it ready for market and then start selling it to doctors and nurses to to test people. So what we did, we work in a growth strategy to see first if Kenya was a really good choice to start and after that, which other countries should a company go in order for uh, grow the company and be able to help the most, the more people possible. So yeah, it was really interesting. We were with really driven people that were really interested in the solution. They really believe in the product. So it was great and like um, we learned a lot working with them. I mean, if somebody is thinking about doing an MBA program, I think it's, it comes not only to ask what can I get out of it, but also what, what can I give back? Because when you interact with so many people and so many professional people, you also want to, to bring something to the table. So that's also very important to know. You have to be prepared. 
it's better if you have some years, like some experience years working like a certain industry or a certain job in order to also be part of the conversation.